a civil rights leader walks the red carpet with a message for Australia. Give us back what was, what was lost. Give us back. It belonged to us. Now nearly 80, there's a new film about the ailing Duraly clan leader's life to pass on the flame. When he started sharing his life story with me, I just was, I just thought, wow, we have, we have a Gandhi in our own country. Australia's first Aboriginal Methodist minister, Dr Gondara, watched his Arnhem Land home change, from the mission days to the introduction of welfare and the pain inflicted on his people by the NT intervention. I don't think you can respect power structures in these communities when clearly those structures have failed to deliver. You and I are subject to the law. We should be treated equally. After travelling the world calling for protection of Indigenous rights through a treaty, Dr Gondara remains unconvinced about a voice to Parliament. Despite consulting on the Uluru Statement from the Heart, he's planning to vote no at the upcoming referendum. As a leader of the nation and by the church and by my ceremony, I say, voice is not going to make a difference. Whatever leaders make decisions, we follow that. We apply to that. We, we, we are subject to that Rome, the law. On Yungu country, it's an unfolding conversation. At the Gama Festival, these leaders said they were supporting a yes vote, but like others in the debate, for Dr Gondara, it's treaty or nothing. You can't keep on treating me like a little boy or a little girl, you know in my own country. A call to listen in to a leading voice in the fight for Aboriginal justice. Lillian Rangia, ABC News.